guys, it's Chelsea, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be talking about roommate agreements and how to stay organized in online college. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, for here are 11 things to include in your roommate agreement. The first thing is what general appliances in the room can be shared. So, like, can the fridge be shared? Can the microwave be shared? Like, what furniture can be shared? Stuff like that. How do your class schedules match up? So, like, if your roommate has quite a few 8 a.m.s and your classes don't start till 10, like, you could, like, make the plan of, okay, well, like, could you use your lamp when you get ready? Or, like, do you need me to be up? Stuff like that. Just kind of, like, match up, like, schedules and like sleeping schedules and stuff like that the next one is how to step how do you like to study knowing this is like will be helpful for you for when they for when you know they're studying that if they don't like having music play like you can make sure that you just have headphones in how do you handle having the room to yourself or how to handle having the room to yourself so if there's ever a time like that you and your roommate are like you you or your roommate are away for a couple of days like how like what are the guidelines of like what happens when one of us is gone for like quite a bit of time <clears throat> what can be borrowed or taken and what is off limits i think this one is very important um to ask um what is your space so what is the limit that where like you can go um what are each other's visitors policies how and are you going to share each other's food? Um, what are your thoughts on alcohol in the room? What are your policies on borrowing and sharing each other's clothes? And then what do you do if you and your roommate can come to, can't come to an agreement about what things to include in your roommate agreement? Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about how to stay organized in online college class. So schedule time to avoid forgetting reading and assignments. Schedule time in your week to attend a class. Um, print the syllabus and calendar, and then um, I recommend putting that into a planner, like all the important dates and stuff. And then the last thing is log in often. Check your class even when there isn't something due. This is important because things change and you never know like when something is going to like come up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit of a short one um and i hope i will see you guys in my next video